Here comes six foot eight, 385 pounds of chaos. The following contest is the Elimination Chamber match. The rules of the match are as follows. Four participants will be locked away in their respective pods. Two superstars will start the match in the ring. The participants will be released into the match in random order. Eliminations can take place at any time during the match. The last superstar remaining in the chamber will be declared our Elimination Chamber winner. Making his way to the ring from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! I can't imagine what it must be like locked inside the unforgiving structure. The living Lucha Libre legend is here. A man who has done it all in WWE. And his opponents first, representing the LWO from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds. I can tell you that none of these competitors are happy to be in the chamber, but they all want to be here because the winner will be remembered forever. From out of the shadows, Uncle Howdy is here. A being who seems to dwell in the darkest parts of our minds. Might be a spirit, maybe an alter ego, perhaps an evil twin. The truth is, we just don't know. Looking at the face of Uncle Howdy, it is truly a frightening sight. Just that creepy mask alone. And I shudder to think of the pure evil lingering under that mask. Yeah, you're not the only one, Saxton. These are the ultimate mind games being played by Uncle Howdy. We've seen Uncle Howdy's attacks have devastating consequences, but what happens when he steps inside the ring to actually compete? Well, Byron, we're about to find out, and I've got an ominous feeling it's going to be horrifying. Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of fear in his being. Sorry, 
Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. Here comes one dangerous man, Solo Sokoa. And representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! What an intimidating sight this chamber must be for all of these competitors. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. The punishment has arrived. And Priest is more than happy to utilize brute force to get what he wants. And from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest! No longer cares for the WWE Universe, no longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found his true family, and the Judgment Day is their name. Look at the focus and drive in his eyes. Ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. This is Satan's structure. Two miles of chains contain these superstars. For this bout, we see Solo Sokoa and Damian Priest. And this Elimination Chamber match is underway as we see the pods occupied with Kevin Owens, Uncle Howdy, Braun Strowman, and Ramus. Look out! Oh. Oh. oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Climbs back inside. He must have seen that coming. Ooh, clothesline deliver. Uh-oh. And Priest fends him off. There he goes, right into the corner. It's time for Kevin Owens to make an impact in the Elimination Chamber. Wicked clothesline. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Saw it coming and got out of there. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Whatever's plan here can't be good. You can't prepare your face for that.
practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. The pot is open. Uncle Howdy can now get into this Elimination Chamber match. Flapjack! Face first. Solely focused on being a corner. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Corey, I have to know, other than the obvious structural components, how exactly does the Elimination Chamber differ from or compare to other elimination matches in terms of strategy? Honestly, I think the strategy is still the same as just about any other elimination match. Eliminate somebody as soon as possible. Treat any alliance as a temporary one. And well-timed maneuver there. Rakes the face to interrupt the offense. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. What a lethal combination there. Things didn't look pretty for Owens taking that shot. Yeah, Uncle Howdy came prepared for this matchup. He wants out. Braun Strowman set to show what he's capable of inside the chamber. A little rope assistance. Very effective. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Are we on the verge of a monster being slain? I can't believe someone that big can fly like that. Sleeper hold is cinched in. Oh, my goodness. Not for long. Sokoa prevents that from connecting. He's heading back to the ring. Uh-oh. And now we have Rey Mysterio who's surveying the chamber. KO can end this now. The count was stopped before it started. How'd he do that? What a jaw-dropping show of strength this late into the match. And KO is pissed off. That kick out just slipped an even bigger fire under Owens. Uncorked a big punch. Time to go for a ride. The Explosion. And the first elimination might be the toughest one to get. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, right through the throat. Oof. Isolating their opponent's arm. And oh! Delivering nasty. A bear hug. Furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes!
Great strength being shown here. Ouch. Oh, man. Solo making sure his opponent knows what his intentions are. That'll turn your lights out. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Oh, man. Leg drop arm breaker. Such an underhanded tactic there. Oh, my. A jumpy DDT. Absolutely planned. He gets back into the ring. Ooh, elbow strike. Able to get the advantage here. Talk about dismantling your opponent. You can't take much more of this. Look at this. Here we go, guys. Dragon sleeper. Locked in tight. Body gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Hooked up in the pump handle. And uh, shoulders down. Kicks out. Almost inhuman at this point. Howdy with the counter. And responds with a counter of their own. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Byron, this is what I wish you would do. Ah, the go-home driver. Good night. And he keeps his focus on an attack. Uh-oh. Oh. And Owens might just have this. Is it enough? The cover. Ah, oh, kick out. Kick out at two. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. <laughs> Up high. Mysterio. What a frog splash. Feeling like it's over for Priest. Two count. He's still in this fight. Type of dark forces Damian Priest called on there, but it worked. And Mysterio clearly frustrated over that kick out, asking himself, What do I have to do next? The WWE Universe is on its feet, and deservedly so. These superstars are holding nothing back. Repeated elbows to the lower back. Meanwhile, here's Damian Priest. He's able to fend off the... Rearing way back. There's a Samoan split. Ouch. Amazing. Oh, my God. Set it up. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. We see the herd starting to thin out a bit. It's now down to the final four competitors in this elimination chamber. Big right connects. seeing a whole saga written tonight. And Owens is stunned. Thought he'd done it up to end it, but he was wrong. Suplex. Oh. 
Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Sinking deep into the camel clutch. Kevin Owens, as tough as he is, seems to be running low on fight, Sax. And he releases the hold. I don't think he has. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Dragon sleeper applied. Tap out. Kevin and it Owens comes down to eliminated. this. The last two competitors. But a bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. What a unique submission maneuver here. Got it. He survived the elimination chamber. Well, you can't really argue with a win like that, guys. This is what it's all about. All the hard work, all the training, it's all for achieving big victories like this one.